New York is New York, man. It's the best city in the world. I feel like New York overdoes it a little bit, though. Like, you can never know everywhere here. Toronto was a pleasant surprise. Toronto, I didn't expect at all what I got. I love it there. It's multicultural, the summers are great. You know, it's a young city, vibrant, a lot of energy. Never been in fan bars or stuff like that. I wouldn't go into one in Europe. They're crazy. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck out of here like that. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. Tried too much by himself. Out the door. He's gonna have a go! And he scored! I was never supposed to play in my first season at the Red Bull. It was kind of a freak accident because literally two players in my position got hurt in the same game. I got the ball, had an opportunity, I just took it. And then I got the opportunity to go to Europe to join a team called Villarreal. That was a new adventure, a dream of mine to play in Europe, to play on the biggest stage. And I got to do that for eight years. The pressures, you deal with that as a pro all the time. You know, I learned not to read my own articles. I learned not to read the bad articles and kind of understand that the people that matter are your teammates, your coaches, and your family. I wasn't really worried about, you know, all the other noise, all the other stuff that was being written or said about me. Wanted me to go out there and score like 30-something goals in my first year, those kind of things. I just didn't really pay attention to it. So when I was younger, maybe, you know, it bothered me a bit. I'm talking about when I was 16 to like 18, period. But as you get older, you realize you can't please everybody. All these people that have an opinion, that have something to say, as soon as you retire, as soon as you go away, you're never gonna hear from those people again. And you're just left with you and the people that were there when you started. As a whole, to go to Europe, I think about that sometimes, uh, whether I, I maybe could have waited a couple years and maybe I'm gone when I was a bit more mature. It taught me so much, so young, that I used that I still apply to my life now. So, you know, I think, you know, I have no regrets. And certainly you can look at it and say, yeah, maybe I could have waited, but I don't look at it that way. I, I was happy with when I went. I'm proud that I've been able to be a pro 10 years, and I love being in Toronto. It's a great project, a great team, a great city. So, you know, hopefully we can do some big things in the future there. Well, my foundation, I started that when, uh, when the earthquake happened in Haiti. I said to my dad, like, what can we do to help, you know? And he said, we gotta help, we gotta help somehow. And I know, I thought this idea to have a foundation and people were telling me not to do it. At the time I was like 19, they're like, oh, folks on soccer, blah, blah, blah. But I felt like I had a platform to help now and I felt like, why not? My roots in Haiti, my parents being born there. You know, I grew up watching Haiti time and time again. When I, when I, my first soccer game I ever went to was Haitian national team. And hopefully now in the Copa America they can use it as a big opportunity to kind of, you know, show the world who they are. But at the same time, it's exciting to see that they're gonna come here and compete in, in such a big tournament with so many eyes on them. And it'll be good, healthy, you know, healthy news in that direction because often Haiti's portrayed in a negative light. People ask me all the time, I never got approached from Haitian national team. I mean, I think it would've been something cool to consider, but, I mean, America, the U.S. has done so much for my family, you know, and I feel like this is my way of giving back, you know, to kind of, to play for them, and, and I love the U.S., I love living here, you know, I'm, I'm an American, I'm a proud American, so to have this opportunity, it's like my way of giving back and saying thank you for what they've done for my family and my parents.